What are you girls doing? Meeks. Are we waiting at the vet? Your puppies over there? Hello and welcome to Samoyed Sundays. If you haven't been here before, my name is Kate. And this is Tinkerbell. And this one is Miko. Both of them are girls and Miko just turned one a little bit ago. So she had to go into the vet today to get all of her one year shots. So I thought it'd be a great time to share some of my tips and tricks to make sure your visit to the vet isn't a stressful one. So apparently Miko is feeling very cuddly today after all of her shots, so she'll be hanging out in my lap. So my first tip starts when you first get your dog, but you can always start doing it now as well. And that is to make your dogs comfortable with what the vet is going to do. So a lot of dogs don't like to be touched in interesting places. So. When you first get your puppy, or you can start doing it now, I mess with their feet, their ears, you look inside, you look in their nose, look at their teeth, open their mouths, and check out their bums all the time. I do that every day. I wanna make sure that they get really f familiar with other people touching their body parts. Sounds ridiculous, really great. So they're not gonna be as scared when you get into the actual vet. Number two is also, before you go into the vet, if you use a carrier to transport your pet to the vet, you wanna make sure that you lie that out so they're not afraid of it, let them sleep in it, or walk around, maybe put a blanket in so they're super comfortable, all of that. You don't want to make going to the vet a big deal. If you bring out that carrier for the first time when they know they have to go in the car and they know they're going someplace scary, it's gonna make them super anxious and you don't want that. Along those lines, don't change up your routine if you're going to the vet. A change in routine is going to make your dogs anxious and try to figure out what on earth is going on. So just keep everything simple, everything calm, and you're good to go. Number three is make them comfortable. So bring their favorite toys, their favorite treats, so they know where they're going. They're gonna have something from home to play with, some treats to make them happy. Keep some in your pockets, give them one in the car, give them a piece of treat when they get to the vet, when they're waiting in the waiting room. And then once again, once they get into the room, so really, really give them lots of praise. However, if they start crying in the actual vet room, that's one thing that you don't want to say, oh, are you okay, are you okay? Because they're going to think that they're getting love and treats for doing something that they shouldn't be. Next, number four, is keep yourself calm as well. I know I'm the crazy person that if I go into a doctor's office, if I go into a dentist, all of that, that white coat syndrome, my blood pressure skyrockets. But the same thing happens to dogs. So they're gonna feed off your energy. So if you're nervous and you're freaking out, the dogs are gonna pick up on that and they're gonna freak out as well. And you don't want that to happen. So just make sure that you yourself are super calm, you know what's going on, you have all the questions that you wanna ask written down, you know where you're going, what time you're supposed to be there, all of that, just to make yourself really comfortable with what's going on. And last but not least, this is a rescue remedy. They make one specifically for dogs, but this is the human one. Honestly, the difference between the dog version and the human version is alcohol, but the alcohol and a couple sprays of this is negligible, so I'm fine with you using either one. This is an original flower essence from Bach. So essentially, it's just a little squirt. You spray a couple of squirts on their tongue. It does taste really funny. They're probably not gonna like the taste of it, but all of the herbs in there are known to calm down the central nervous system and help relieve anxiety. I use this for myself when I get panic attacks. So it works really well on the girls too. So if they're super freaking out, give a couple squirts of them before you leave, go in the car. It takes a few minutes to work, but everything will calm down. Do you have any tips or tricks for going to the vet without a big hassle? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did like this video, make sure to a thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Come on. You ready? Did you guys have fun at the vet? Yeah. Got lots of treats because everybody loves you.